musical family. My mother studied at the Royal Academy of Music in London. She studied violin, viola and piano. And my late father was one of the pioneers and developers of the steel drum instrument, which originated in Trinidad. So I was taught by both of them. I was taught piano by my mother before I got formal training at school. And I was taught to play the steel drums by my late father. My family formed a steel band, my parents, and there were my brother, my sister, myself and a neighbour and we travelled very much throughout the UK and lots of places in Europe as well. And throughout my childhood I also performed on my own singing and playing the piano. So really you could say that I started performing on my own at age 11 or so. I have always been partially sighted. I was born with a very rare eye condition and I have always had enough sight to navigate my way around and have a general picture of what's around, but I have never had enough sight to be able to drive or to be able to be as independent as, as most other people are. Kiskadi is me. But my name was inspired by a beautiful bird, which is often found in the tropics and also I think in places like Texas. People ask me if music's my passion. Well, it's like asking me if breathing's my passion. Really, it's not a matter of whether it's my passion. It really is my calling. I can express my experiences, my feelings, my Everything that I digest from my experiences, I can then actually express that through music. People always ask me how I record in a studio where it's all computer based and obviously very visual. Well, I'm very lucky because I have a screen reading software which enables me to access the computer. So most of the work that I do is actually from the computerized software which I use. And then we have all the hardware attached to it like my mixing material, my mixing desk, my control surface and my speakers and, and everything else. Indigo Nation is a flagship band of Ethical Music Corporation. I've been involved in many different bands and many different projects and I had the idea to form a band that is less conventional than most others. So we have a jazz funk latino fusion style and a lot of the material that we perform is original The idea behind Ethical Music Corporation was to give expression to music and allow artists and different people involved in music to have an expression that they may not otherwise be able to have. So they could have access to a recording studio, they could have access to a, a platform where they could perform. We felt we wanted to create something that's more organic, more equal, kind of like the whole foods of the music business, if that makes any sense.
There are three distinct components to Ethical Music Corporation. One is the artists and the music and the service that artists can provide to organisations, to schools and to, to other various bodies with the music. There's another aspect which is that we can teach visually impaired people who want to work in a recording studio or who want to have a career using some type of sound recording equipment and who otherwise would not have access to that equipment. And we also give steel drum workshops to organisations, to corporations for team working events and those workshops are very effective and fun. I would like to share with other people more than anything that sometimes if people feel a fear of something like visual impairment or any other disability or impairment, it really doesn't have to stop them from living life. Once you learn where your limitations are and indeed where your limitations are not, you can navigate life very effectively.